Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install and use Eclipse IDE on your Ubuntu operating system. So let's get started. So before installing Eclipse IDE, the prerequisite of installing Eclipse is you need to have Java installed on your Ubuntu operating system. So I have already created a video about how you can install Java JDK on your Ubuntu operating system and I will put the link into the description of this video so you can just see uh, how you can install Java on your Ubuntu operating system if you already don't have Java. Now in order to check the version of Java you can just press Ctrl Alt T to open the terminal here and once the terminal is open you can just give this command Java hyphen hyphen version and it's going to uh, give you the version of Java you have on your Ubuntu operating system. So in my case, I have Java 15.0.2 version. So once you have Java installed on your Ubuntu operating system, we are ready to install Eclipse. So just open your favorite browser and search for download Eclipse. And the first link which will appear here will be from uh, eclipse.org forward slash downloads. So I'm going to just click on this link and uh, when you reach to this website straight away when you scroll down you will be able to see this download eclipse button so i'm going to just click on the download button here and then you will be able to see the nearest mirror uh, which is nearer to your location i'm going to just click on download button which is going to start the download of this uh, eclipse ide on my ubuntu operating system so you can see it's around 83 megabyte file. So I will wait for the download to complete. So once this Eclipse uh, tar.gz file is downloaded, I'm going to just minimize my browser and I'm going to open my terminal once again. So now I'm going to just navigate to my uh, downloads folder and you can see this Eclipse tar.gz file is here. So if you are comfortable with command line, then you can uh, give this uh, tar command and then uh, hyphen xvzf uh, and then uh, the name of your file, which is Eclipse. Or you can directly go to the downloads file and then right click on this file and then you can just click on extract here, which is going to extract this file into your downloads folder. Okay, so I'm going to just uh, give this command and now you will be able to see that uh, this folder is extracted from your eclipse tar.gz file and now uh, inside this uh, eclipse folder i can see this eclipse hyphen inst file so i can run this uh, binary file uh, using the terminal also or you can directly uh, click on this file so let me clear the terminal and then uh, I need to navigate to the Eclipse directory and here I need to run this file right so I'm going to just write dot forward slash name of the uh, file which is Eclipse hyphen inst and then press enter and it's going to start this graphical installer setup so let me just minimize all my uh, terminals so now you have a bunch of options here. So if you want to install Eclipse for the Java development, you can choose the first option. If you want to install Java for other purposes, for, for example, for developing C++ applications or PHP applications or other applications, you can choose the option which is suitable for you. For now, I'm going to choose the first option, which is for Java developers and this will be the location of your java jdk file so eclipse is going to recognize the location of your java jvm jdk directory where you have already installed java right so if you are happy with both the paths then just click on the install button which is going to give you this kind of uh, uh, license terms and agreement a window so you can just click on accept now and the installation will start so I will wait for the installation to complete so now as you can see the Eclipse installation is finished on my Ubuntu operating system so I'm going to just click on this launch button 
to launch Eclipse IDE and for the first time when you uh, open Eclipse it will ask you to provide the workspace folder so if you don't have the good reason to change this path you can leave it as default and then click on uh, launch and now the Eclipse IDE has been started on your Ubuntu operating system. So now at this point uh, you can create your first Java project. So let's create one. So I'm going to just click on uh, file and then new and then click on Java project here and then give the name of your uh, Java project. So I'm going to name my project as uh, hello and uh, this will be the location where uh, your project will be saved and then you can choose your GRE by default uh, Eclipse is going to recognize your Java installation and it's going to just select these options automatically you can also choose the different versions from here but for now everything looks good to me so I'm going to just click on the next button so now you can see the project folder structure here and uh, all the libraries associated with it. So you can uh, change all these things uh, later also. So I'm going to just click on the finish button for now. So for now, I don't want to create this uh, module. So I will just click on the don't create button, which is going to create my uh, Java project. Now, if you see this welcome window and if you don't see the project folder, then you can just click on minimize option which is going to show you your uh, project uh, explorer window right you can also close this uh, donate uh, window from here and then you can just open your project so inside the source folder I'm going to create a new pack package so right click new and then click on package name your package uh, uh, something so I'm going to name it as com dot uh, code bind for example and then click on finish and inside my package I'm going to create a new class so I'm going to just right click once again new and this time I'm going to choose a uh, class here and then I'm going to name my class as uh, hello again if you want to create a public uh, static void main uh, method you can check this checkbox also so I'm going to just uh, click on uh, this checkbox which says uh, public static void main which is going to create this uh, uh, main method for me and then click on finish and once uh, this is done you can see uh, this class is created and this uh, main method is created so now inside this uh, main method I can just uh, write uh, system dot out dot uh, print line or print uh, ln and then inside the parenthesis in the double quotes I can just uh, write hello world for example and then I can uh, just save my project by clicking on this uh, save uh, button and if you uh, go to the run uh, tab here you can see all these uh, run options also when you click on the project option you can see build automatically option is checked here so when you uh, click on the run button so just click on run uh, hello.java button it's going to uh, build automatically and then show you this kind of output which is hello world right so everything is working fine with your eclipse ide now let's say you want to close your eclipse ide i'm going to just close my eclipse ide so you can uh, just reopen this Eclipse IDE by just clicking on these uh, dots here and then you will be able to see this Eclipse icon here. So you can just click on this icon and it's going to open uh, your Eclipse uh, IDE once again. So this is how you can uh, download and install Eclipse IDE on your Ubuntu operating system. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.